Namaste, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Saurav. I am an assistant food and beverage manager in one of the Accor hotels in Bangalore. Today I am here to share you my experience in food and beverage over the last 12 years working in hotels and restaurants and giving you insights about three topics. The first one being choosing F&B as a career. The second being attributes of an F&B professional. And the third topic being job responsibilities or to up the day-to-day -day function of an assistant F&B manager. Choosing F&B is a career. Now before saying how much uh, the F&B industry is booming, I would like to say, I, sh I would like to share you few statistics. According to the FIKI, in 2014, F&B food and beverage industry was a 2.004 lakh crore industry. According to Food Hospitality Express, in 2019, this same industry in India became 4.24 lakh crore industry, which means it doubled up. According to FHRI, Federation of Hotel and Restaurant Association of India, the FNB in recent years, recent years means over the last three years, have increased from 36.6%, which was 10 years back, to 42.2%. So you see the growth in FNB. Right? If I talk about the hotels in India, Taj, Obroy, Leela, Marriott, Accor, Hyatt, most of the hotels have a fair enough contribution of F&B and rooms to the total hotel revenue, which is almost 50-50%. Like in Accor, it is almost 32-35%. In Obroy, again, it's a room-driven hotel. In Taj and Hyatt, it is more of F&B 50-50. So you see, F&B is the most important thing and only in food and beverage does not restrict you to working in hotels. You can be working with any of the beverage companies like DIGO, uh, Bernard Record, Asprey Spirits, different wine companies. You can work with commercial kitchen equipment brands as, as a chefs are highly recommended to join those companies. Any food processing units. And also, you can work in multiplexes. Like for example, these days, restaurant managers are given high preferences being a unit head of multiplexes. Why so? Because a food and beverage element is attached to the movies, right? So, not only hotels, you see other job opportunities in F&B. Overall, to keep it very short, F&B is a huge industry where you just need to have the passion and a service from heart uh, attitude. The second point that I need to come, attributes of an FNB professional. Now to come to that point, attributes of an FNB professional, I will take you through these five pointers. Now the pointer one is grooming and punctuality. You have to have an immaculate grooming and along with that, nothing happens without a proper deadline. You have to be punctual, not only on shift, but to your deadlines that is given by your seniors. Dedication and passion. You need to have a service from heart culture. It is not the company policies or the guidelines. It is important. But what is more important is service from heart. Eye for detail. You need to have an immaculate eye for detail. Like for example, you need to, if you are standing on the floor as a manager or a floor supervisor, you need to understand what is happening in table number 1, what is happening in table number 10, what is happening in the buffet pickup. So you need to have everything within your eye for detail. Empathy. Very, very important in this era. We no more sympathize. We empathy, empathize by keeping ourselves in their shoes. And the last and not the least is knowledge of your product. The knowledge is extremely, extremely important because without knowledge, you will be less confident. You will not be able to speak up. And one more thing, if you're not confident of any knowledge, just say, allow me a couple of minutes, I will come back to you. So those were the five important attributes of being a successful uh, professional, FNB professional. And I still follow that thing. Now coming to the third point. Like, what is the job role of an assistant FNB? First thing that I do is read my mail so that I know that I'm up to date with the communication. I see the uh, revenue of uh, last day. I see the VIP arrivals of the day. I see the important functions of the day, important restaurant reservations, or any important policies or any important communication that has come either from the corporate office, either from the leadership team, hotel leadership team. 
now after that i i walk out of my office go to the shop floor and have a round of my respective areas restaurants uh, banquet event spaces stores uh, 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 pantries dispense bar room service so you i i take a round of the complete area and if there is anything i notify it to the respective managers or team to correct it the third thing is very important breakfast is one of the most important meals so i me during the, the during the meal periods or rather i say it action time like a lunch or a dinner or a breakfast time if i am there on shift as an assistant fnb i make it very compulsory that those 3 hours of a meal period there is no administrative work all of us should be bang on on the floor and i meet those important clients as our loyal members our repeat guest our long stayers our guest with any any glitch uh, who has a incident issue with any other department or our department so i meet them exchange my cards which is always a feel good factor and in this way you also are updated with the hotel guest movement and then after that you attend the morning meeting or any meeting of the day day and accordingly after that you have, you take a brief with your with your managers because once you take a brief you you give them the download what needs to be done apart from that there are few things which an assistant fnb does is purchase follow ups any payment follow ups from the uh, vendors and one more thing which is i believe is difficult i'll be very practical and not i will over promise would be difficult would be taking a training daily but here what i do is that i mark one day in my calendar in a week where i do a training to with my managers either on a pnl session either on a month end report session either on a beverage sponsorship session either on a beverage ordering session so i keep one training on a week for my managers which is very important because it is your knowledge that makes if you share your knowledge it makes you grow so these are the job roles of an assistant fnb on a on a daily basis and apart from that for sure if there are uh, if there are any strategies that are needed to make up the revenue you plan 3 months ahead any food and pro, food and beverage promotions that are there you you plan it al along with the marketing any audits that are supposed to come you you plan it with your respective managers or the managerial team of food and beverage so audits um beverage uh, sponsorships a beverage menu update so any food promotions this you closely work collaborate coordinate with other departments like kitchen and and your fnb managers and you you make the action plan accordingly according to your deadline so this is the overall uh, job responsibility of food and beverage manager and most importantly be motivated smile because if you smile you be seeing your body language your team will smile and um, that would be all in this video i think uh, i have shared uh, those three uh, uh, insights or my experiences like i have been in the industry for the last 12 years i have worked with brands like hyatt marriott and accor right now so uh, i am pretty much blessed that i am i am in this industry because i always believe service from heart is the key to success and and uh, to end up i would like to say that please do share your comments do uh, in this in this video uh, in this in this channel edit uh, uh, sign off from here alvida and thank you